Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a good day. And as you can see, we are going to do a stitch along and I'm going to use the Joy Sunday Curi ah, Curious Cat. And we're going to be working right in here on this little bowl of, or cup, I don't know, bowl, cup, whatever. But it's that green part. I'm going to put everything away. What a day, guys. What a day. I'm telling you. My daughter called me at 7.30 this morning and wanted to know if I wanted to go with her. She had to go down to Salida. Yay. So, it was like marathon shopping. She had to go pay the hospital bill. And... Then, she had to go and, let's see, we had to talk to some people about some wood, because she needs more wood for them to put in their wood-burning stove. Oh yeah, it's been special. Special, special, special. So, and then we had to go to Walmart, and then we went to Caring and Sharing. Not much there to report. I did get a um, cross-stitch thing. I should have just left it there, but, you know, I kind of like the way it looked. Let me see if I can get it out of its thing. Well, I only paid $2 for it, but it's in a plastic thingy. It says counter cross stitch. And that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it's got specialty stitches running down the edges of all that. And in here there's some kind of eyelet stitches that I've never done. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It came with um, the threads. And it looks like somebody worked with it, you know, they were writing down all the colors and what needed to be where. And it's that crappy color from, um, thread from uh, Jan Lin. I hate that company. Just absolutely hate it. But I like the pattern. And it came with a piece of, it looks like, 14 count, um, Ada. So, we will see. Yeah. Oh, and it came with a needle on a piece of weird material. Looks like, uh, what is that stuff? Ducking, duck, no, what is that called? I can't remember. Anyway, so here we are. We are stitching today. So, I wanted something easy, so it wasn't really, sorry, it won't bend. There we go. Try not to bounce you around too much. And try to stay where I need to be. So. Yeah. Last night, let's see. What did I work on? I worked on the rest of that little pattern. Or little motif, I should call it. On, uh. Autumn Quakers. by Rosewood Manor and I started working on there's a like a I'll call it a bowl or some kind of a vase with flowers coming out and then there's two birds on each side so I started working on the birds and I'm making them blue so that was about all I accomplished there I just was kind of fried I don't know why so I went to bed early, and for some reason I woke up this morning, and I slept on my shoulder wrong somehow. Must have been so tired I just passed out in one position. I have no idea, but today my shoulder's killing me, so we'll see how long this lasts today. But I just thought it'd be the easiest thing to work on. And we'll see how much of this green little 
thing we can get done. I didn't work any more on yin and yang. I just wanted to finish that motif that I worked on in that video. So, I got it halfway done and then I had to redo part of it and this is Autumn Quakers, that is. And, um, got that all straightened out and got the motif completely stitched and done. So, that's why I started on the birds. So, that's what I've been working on. Didn't work anymore on uh, Death by Cross Stitch. Now that it finally got easy, I'm just not interested. No, just kidding. Um, no, we don't. Oh, shit. Sorry. My bad. Yes, it is the green. Jeez, Louise. I am telling you. I don't know. That all looks like the same color. How weird. I guess it's darker. Beats the heck out of me. I'm just sewing. And I had somebody comment that they were working on uh, the, uh, what is it called? It's the birds in the, you know, the plum blossom thing. And they're doing it in silk, of course, because they're, they can do that. I just can't handle it. And, uh. What was I saying? And they ran out of four different colors of threads doing that. So, I don't know. Kind of buyer beware. It's a beautiful pattern. And I may not go any further with mine. Because um, there's three in that. That, um, what do you call it? Not set. Well, I guess it would be a set. Of pictures. And that was the first one I started on. That's the one I told you that the silk was going really well. But if I'm going to run out of thread. And she said she's tried to get a hold of them to get more thread. And that was not happening either. So. I don't know. It's just sad. So I may take that one. It has a lot more colors in it. I cannot. Don't ask. Can't remember how many. There were, but um, I may just um, change it to DMC. So, I don't know. I'm just a little pissed. You know, you buy these things and you expect stuff to be there. I'll be there for a kit. So, I don't know. And I'm not very far on this. You know, I mean, I've got that cat done, but... I don't know. I haven't gotten it close on any of them to know whether or not, you know, they work out the way they're supposed to. I'm using two strands instead of the three that it called for. So, in my brain, I should have extra thread. Because I'm not your best go from one place to the other. I usually just cut it and tie it off. So, I don't know. Time will tell on this. But uh, we'll see. Doesn't look like we have a whole lot of thread. But I have no idea. So far, we're just... I'm just going along doing different things. So, can't tell you. I know. I keep repeating myself. I'll just shut up. So anyway, we ran around and did that. And we got back at like 10 after... 11 and she had to go get my granddaughter and we didn't want her to start in on the fact that grandma's here let's go to lunch so that's why she dropped me off because she picked me up to go and do this so yeah it's special so get rid of this thread I hate when it gets so short okay and I think I'm looking 
I was going to go on, but this needs to be taken care of. I guess it is two different colors. There's two different shades of blue there, I guess. The one I got in my hand is a little bit darker. You can see that. So we'll see. I guess it's shading purposes. I just love this pattern. I thought it was just so cute. It's like, why can't I just finish this? I mean, about that. I don't know. I just don't work on things all the way through. Oh, are you kidding me? I know that's not where I put that needle. Yes, Laura has lost her needle again, but we have an, a spare. So we'll just go with it. It's here somewhere. It's probably laying someplace flat that I can't see it. Now what I need is my... Really? Hang on. Too much. Oh, and when I was at Walmart, I bought a hoop. It's not very thick, but uh, it said 10 inch. So I'm hoping that it'll work on um, Autumn Quakers. But we'll see. Oh, there it is. No, I never did find the other. But I found my, my threader. And if I didn't, we got 40 more in my little thing. I don't think we've gone through all 50. That's the best investment I ever made. It just threads that needle lickety split. Especially when you don't want to mess with it. So. We will see. But I'd like to get this green part done on this bowl. And then I can go back and fill in. There's maybe three, four different colors besides these the little dots do you see them and then there's some blue right there that's why I stopped myself because I've been doing that blue on yin and yang for so long and uh, I'm programmed because that was the black on yin and yang so oh well But other than that, that's about all I've been working on. So I don't know what I did to my back, but I wish it would just go away. I've already taken some Tylenol for it. I may go lay down later. See if I can relax the kink out of it. And that's why I wanted to stitch. Because usually stitching helps me to relax. You have to take a hot shower. I don't have a heating pad anymore, unfortunately. I usually use ice if I hurt myself for some reason. I don't know. It seems to help. I don't know if it numbs it or, or what, but I haven't slept wrong in a very long time. So, you know, crap happens. But, geez. We must have gone six or eight places while we were gone, my daughter and I. I was like, damn, you get five minutes here, do that. You got five minutes there, do that. And the running back and forth and in between. So I looked at the, um, the what do you call it, thrift store down there in Salida. And to see, you know, what they had. They had some cotton material, if you ever wanted to use cotton material again. I stopped using cotton material and buying material, period, when I stopped um, quilting. So, haven't had the itch to do that lately. So, thank God. It's just too much for me right now. I'd rather just stitch and 
it seems to be more relaxing. I don't want to have to cut out a bunch of crap and hand sew and I don't know. It quilting is different kind of hand sewing than than this for me. I don't know. I just strive to get it done and things sewed together so that I can get to the quilting part because I mean I don't mind the piecing but I always cut my things out by hand and I'm always doing you know you know me have to do something that's super spectacular quilting so I do like three corner in things you know like um, oh I can't think of the patterns I did a wedding ring quilt and that's all done on curvatures. Oh, yeah, it's that kind of stuff. And Grandmother's Flower Garden, which is an eight-sided stitch thing. Oh, yeah. I am telling you, I enjoyed it. I loved it, but it was just killing my hands. But it's just too much stitching. This is more rhythmic, and it doesn't change for me. It just stitch, and then I can put it down, but not when I'm quilting. I want to get to that quilting part because I hand quilt everything too. So, you know, I'm just stubborn that way. So, you know, we got to get a 10 year project going. <sighs> Insanity plus. So, not happening. Oh, we're about halfway through that. <sighs> Get to go back to work tomorrow. Ooh, yay! I think I got one stitch left in this. Now I'm going to get rid of it. That is if I can get it there without losing my thread. Didn't look at any more patterns. I did order the material for um, the linen and threads thing. So it should be here by Monday, hopefully. Tuesday at the latest, but you know, stupid damn post office. I swear to God, I hate that place. I wish they'd just send it like UPS or something. Okay, needle right there. I think I flipped it off. Oh yeah, yesterday, oh yeah, it was a special day. I got out eggs because I was gonna make an omelet, right? And I set them on this table this table's really slick. And I had something in front, so I thought I'd put the eggs behind it, you know, to hold it while I put the eggs back in the refrigerator. Because the refrigerator's just that way. And while I had my back turned, one of the eggs fell off. And I'm looking, and I'm looking, I'm like, did I get two out? Did I get three out? What did I do? Oh my God, where did it go? Oh yeah, you won't believe where it fell into. It fell into the open container that holds all of my beads for my beaded cross stitch and it, there's a couple rolled up of my big beaded cross stitch things oops shit um yeah i finally found the egg and it was cracked on top of one of those things of bead containers oh yeah i had to clean that mess up thank god it did not get on any of the fabric because the fabric things that are in there actually have print on them. If they had gotten wet, they would have been ruined. And I'd have been pissed. So, yeah. We had a fun day yesterday. And that if that isn't bad enough, I was trying to get them, the eggs out of the refrigerator. And I pulled one out of the container. That's when I decided that I'd turn around and get three out. I dropped another one on the floor. Oh, yeah. So I wasted two whole eggs. Irritating. This is why I buy 18 packs of eggs. So, yeah. Other than that, it's been a special, special three days off. I don't know. I'm just not in the mood to do anything, and it's windy as hell outside. It wasn't nearly as cold as it's been. It was, got into the upper 30s today, and it was 30 degrees when we left. Yesterday when we left, it was like 17. But the wind was still blowing. 
so yeah, it's been special. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I like this because I can go up and down on this, and it's easier to film. I don't have to turn my whole body sideways like death by cross stitch. And I like working on it. It's a simple project. I mean, I'm sure that the, uh, what do you call it? What is that? Back stitching is going to be a pain in the ass in this thing because everything is outlined by freaking back stitch of some kind. I don't know. Did it say? There are one, two, three, four, five different colors of back stitch. And there's some half stitches, but we're not working in that area today. And I'm not doing any back stitch. I've got some little pink ones there. I gotta finish to finish this bowl. And the fish are completely back stitched as well on this. And then you got the fish up here that are all back stitched. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't mind it, I guess. I mean, this isn't such a big project that you can't get everything done. So we'll see how much of that back stitching I do. I may outline the cats or or just whatever, I don't know. You know, the the important crap. I think it really helps the project when it is back stitched where it's supposed to be because that's the way the pattern was made. But I don't know. I don't know. Well, we got that part done. Ah. Up we go. Well, now you can almost tell it's a bowl. I don't know what's going on right in here. I don't remember. Oh, it's the cat's paw. The cat is coming in. So this is the cat's face. Let me see if I can pull you down. I don't know if you can tell that or not, but this and this is his two eyes. So the cat's leaning forward. So that, and then we're working on this right in here. And then that's part of the saucer out there. So we'll see. It is what it is. Didn't let's see what else did I get? Oh, I got another cross stitch pattern and the material to go with it, but it's not going to be very big. I don't think it's a maybe about this size. And it's um koi fish as well. But I think they're bigger. They're all swimming in a circle. So we'll see how well that goes. I don't know. I just fall in love with the damn pictures and then I have issues. So we'll see. We will see. But I just cannot, for the life of me, make up my mind what I want to get or anything like that. I don't know whether to go. I really want that whole set of the, it's a Christmas thing. Let's call it Christmas Village for lack of what it is actually called. And I don't remember who makes it. I'm sure everybody's seen it. I just want to do the whole thing. Um as a village you know on one piece so we'll have to figure that out I may have to contact them to see if you can how big of a piece I was would actually need but I just love those little buildings and they're just so cute so I don't know I don't know tell me what to do tell me what to do what I really want to do oh geez 95% of the time, I haven't got a damn clue what I want to do. But I fought over material, and I finally got something French golden 
Ada, I think. And I can't remember if it's Zygarde or or the one with the W. And I, or if I actually went ahead and got, oops, sorry, the one by uh, Picture Plus. It was so pretty. And it was called something else. It was something else, but yeah. But it was like 35 bucks for a piece of material, and I was like, I don't know that that's what I want to do. And I've kind of decided on the red. I, I'm going to have to put them, you know, like stitch a few stitches of each to of the colors, and then I'll order it from uh, 123 Stitch. So, because like I said, the Ada, not Ada, the DMC is only like 50 cents a, uh, a skein. So, I thought that was pretty damn good because I have to pay a dollar a skein. So, why should I do that? And it's going to take like 13, 13 skeins, 13 to 15 skeins, something like that. There was the other one that I wanted to do of linen and threads, and I think it's the 2017 one with the one where it's like in strips, goes strips across it. Ah, oh, gorgeous! 33 skeins of color. Yeah. So I said, no, not this time. I mean, it's going to be there, so I don't have to worry about it. I'll just focus on this first one and see how well I like it and how it goes so we will see about got it up there and I don't know what that is I guess it's there's some white lines in this too you know that you uh, backstitch to show the the lines of the water see and that's what this is this is like a green little piece of green what do you call them? lilies not lilies look Lo not locusts what are those yeah they're water lilies you know in the water so there's some swirly curly cues in there to make it all come out good so we'll just have to see how it works but I just love working on this and it's so easy to hang on to and, and work from, so. And I gotta go to the top part. Alright, guys. Well, I think it's gonna be it, because I've sat here long enough. But there she is finished. Isn't she beautiful? Just beautiful. And this is so much darker than it looks. See, I was hoping it would be in that turquoise blue color, but it's not. But you can see the fish, so that's really good. Alright, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your day, and a good rest of your week. God bless. Bye-bye.